Hello everyone. Today we're making salmon with crushed potatoes and a berenice sauce. It's one of our favorites actually. And what I'm going to start off with, I've got some really nice salmon that I have marinated right here. And um, what I put on is some um, lemon oil, olive oil, dill and some whole grain mustard. Okay, These are some really nice fillets of uh, salmon and I've let them marinate for about an hour or so in the fridge. And I'm going to start off with the salmon first and I will put it inside um, the foil, I'm going to put it in the oven so it's really nice and quick and it doesn't need, doesn't take a long time and the good thing with that when you put it into a foil is that really you don't have the smell, the really strong smell that salmon can leave um, in your kitchen. So I'm just going to take my pan right here and just put some of this foil I'll add a little bit of oil, that's it, and I'm going to place my fillets of salmon on here. Okay, I think we can create a little bit more space right here for this. Okay. So once we put those in, I'm going to add a little bit of salt because I didn't put too much on my marinade. Just a little bit of salt and some more pepper. And a little bit of extra of olive oil at the top. Okay. And now I'm just going to close that and seal that as a pouch. As a little packet put any um, liquid inside because the salmon will come up with its own juices okay and it will bake like that and you're just making that as a little package like you would make a parcel okay so this is nice and secure right now and all you have to do is just put it in the oven, I would say no more than 15 minutes, something like that. So you've got your oven already on 170 degrees, okay? And you're just gonna put it in, degrees, and let that in there. Now we're gonna crack on with our bareness. Bareness is something that goes great with steak, but it also goes great with uh, fish. And for the bearnaise sauce, we're going to need butter, we're going to need um, vinegar, eggs, uh, shallot and tarragon. Okay, first I'm going to start off with uh, the vinegar and we will need approximately, I'm going to do half of the dosage that I do usually for my um, Bearness, but I'm going to give you the full amount of the bearness. So, so it's going to be about 75 um, grams of uh, 75 ml of uh, vinegar, white wine vinegar. I'm going to do half of the dosage of that. So I'm just going to go with that. Okay. And now I will add, I have this for later, so I'm just going to use this here. I will add my shallot, which is finely chopped. You just need half, one shallot, one or two shallots, and I'm going to put half of my tarragon. Just so, just a small, a few leaves of tarragon. You just finely chop them as well, and you put that and bring it to a boil. Okay. So you let that boil. I'm just going to add slightly a bit more vinegar. Okay, I think that's it. So you would need 75 ml of uh, vinegar, you would need 250 grams of butter, four egg yolks, um, one or two shallots, finely chopped, and a few leaves of uh, tarragon, about 10 grams or five grams of tarragon. You bring the vinegar, the shallot, 
and the tarragon, you bring that to a boil and you let the vinegar reduce for approximately until it becomes one tablespoon. So let that simmer and reduce. I'm just gonna put it a bit further on medium heat. And while I do that, I'm going to get the butter ready. So you can just go ahead and melt your butter into the pan or you can easily use your microwave. And just a little bit more. Okay. All right, I think that's perfect. That's good. Put that into the microwave to melt. It needs a little bit more to reduce. So I'm just gonna heat that up a bit more. And I'm done with my butter. I'll put it aside. And I need to get ready to finish up my veronese sauce. Okay, so we have reduced the vinegar and tarragon mixture greatly. All we need is just a little, one teaspoon, one tablespoon actually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and strain that through. And all I will need is just the liquid. So I'm just gonna strain that directly in here. Okay, so it's not much, it has reduced greatly. And as you can see, it has even changed color because of our shallots. So you just need just one tablespoon. So you can mix that with your egg yolks. I think that's great, that's enough. I'm going to keep that for later in case I need to use that into my crushed potatoes. All right, so we've just strained our um, vinegar and shallot mixture. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, um, use uh, this pan, uh, fill it with uh, water halfway, and then add just one bowl on top. So you can go ahead and start mixing your egg yolks with the vinegar. Okay, so I'm just going to start by putting this on. And great, that's it. So we're just gonna put that here. So all you will need is just the egg yolks. Okay. And just put them straight away here. So just divide your eggs. Okay, and start mixing it with your vinegar. Okay, so start mixing that. Mix that nicely, and now what you have to do is incorporate your butter. So your melted butter. Just start pouring that slowly in there while the water is heating underneath. And just emulsify your egg yolks with the vinegar mixture and your butter. And you just do that slowly. And you need to let that incorporate first, okay? And the heat doesn't have to be too much. So just medium heat. All right, so we're just going to continue right now for our crushed potatoes. And what I've just put inside the uh, frying pan, you can use a pot or a frying pan, is just a bit of olive oil and the, uh, some um, shallots or um, some onions, anything that you have. Just gonna use the shallots that I used before with the tarragon. Tarragon goes really nicely with, uh, with fish and with chicken. Okay. Again, as I said, so some olive oil. So we can have a, a nice oily bed for our potatoes. 
And our potatoes, what we did, you can just boil them. You can use baby, uh, new baby potatoes or um, any type of potatoes you have. You can boil them or even put them into the microwave just like you would um, a jacket potato. And here we have some potatoes that we have cut up. And I'm just going to add them inside the frying pan straight away. And I have an orange here because I want to use it in my salad. Okay. And here we go. Okay, that's great. And salt. Put salt and pepper. So you're just going to toss them around so they can absorb all the oil and all the goodness from the onions and the tarragon so you can have the full flavor. And just toss them around here on high heat. And now what you have to do is just get ready for crushing them. And what you use for your mashing your potatoes, just use this high heat. Just going to put it on boost because you want them to be charred a bit. That's it. And you don't want to mash them too much. You don't want this to be a mashed potato. All right. So just some crushed potatoes. That's all. And let that get a nice color. And that's almost ready. So you just leave that aside. Excellent. And we're done with the potatoes. We're just put, gonna put them aside. Okie dokie. So right now we've incorporated all the butter into the bearnaise sauce. It's become nice and light and fluffy. So this will be almost ready. And the remaining uh, tarragon that we had, we're just gonna sprinkle that in there. Excellent. And that looks and smells really, really nice. Okay, so that's done. And we're going to add just a bit of salt uh, because we used unsalted butter and some salt and pepper. Okay, so I have turned that off for some time now because it's nice and ready. And we can just put that aside. And we are almost ready to plate up. So I've just taken out our salmon from the oven and it's right here and I'm ready to open that up right now. Just put my knife on the side. So as you can see, it's kept all of its juices inside here and I'm just gonna cut the foil and open it up this way. And if you remember, I didn't put any um, liquid inside. So all this is the liquid from the salmon and the marinade that we had, which was olive oil it was dill, it was whole grain mustard and lemon juice um, and we are ready to plate up and I'm gonna get my spatula ready to remove our salmon right, here we go so we just put our salmon here some of our crushed potatoes We're also going to use some peas, which we've um, just steamed. A few leaves of rocket. And my most favorite bit is also um, a bit of orange segments that go really nicely with the salmon and you just cut them in between there and like this and they have a really nice flavor on top of the rocket and with the salmon you're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil over it okay we've added salt and pepper and we're just going to add our bare sauce which will go over our salmon and our potatoes as well. Okay, so here you have it.
um, poached salmon and foil in the oven with uh, crushed potatoes um, and bear sauce. Enjoy!